Hi and welcome to CSGRams.com. Brian Roth with you. An exciting day here on the campus of Colorado State University as we're proud to introduce you to the new Director of Athletics at Colorado State University, Joe Parker. Hey Joe, congratulations. Welcome to the Ram family. Brian, thank you. All right, quick background on Joe. He spent the last four years as the Deputy Athletics Director at Texas Tech. Prior to that, eight years at the University of Michigan and stints at Washington State and at Oklahoma. And I guess first things first, Joe, what was it about this Colorado State job that really made it attractive? What, what wasn't it about this job? I mean, it's, it's a phenomenal place. And, you know, as I was going through the process, it just became more apparent that this would be a great place for us, a wonderful fit for us as a family. So many of the things that you know, Colorado State is interested in, in doing are things that I've been involved with at, at, in the past at other universities. So it's been an exciting process for us, and we're glad to be here. Now, Joe, you were a student athlete as well, and not just a student athlete. You were a three-time All-American swimmer at the University of Michigan. So you've seen intercollegiate athletics from, from both sides. How does that experience as a student athlete shape the way you go about your business as an athletic administrator? Uh, it's something I borrow from every day. Um, I had a, a phenomenal experience at Michigan. It was a transformational experience, and it helped me put, it, put me on a path for the rest of my life. And, and I got very committed to intercollegiate athletic administration because I wanted to make sure that, that I was a part of perpetuating that environment for other students. Yeah. And it's, it's an exciting thing to be involved with, for sure. You know, you're taking over an athletic department here at Colorado <clears throat> State University that really has seen unprecedented success over the last number of years. How can you continue to drive this athletic department to even higher success in the future? Yeah, I, I uh, really what I try and do as an administrator is focus on creating an environment where other people can have great success, where they can lever leverage their own individual talents to the betterment of the, of the team and, and make sure that we are kind of propelling ourselves forward. Um, I've watched uh, Colorado State for a number of years, and I think it, it certainly is the preeminent program in the Mountain West, and, and I think that's a goal that we're going to continue to strive for. Certainly one of the things that has Ram fans excited is the construction and the building of the new $220 million stadium. How much of a factor did that play in your decision coming it, here? It was a big factor. I, I've been so fortunate in my career to have been involved with three other stadium projects when I was at Oklahoma, when I was at Texas, and when I was at the University of Michigan, and there's nothing better for a campus to see uh, everyone come together and, and really move forward. It, it is probably the single most exciting thing that a university campus can do as it relates to uh, a, a construction project, a facility improvement. And to bring it on campus, I think, is going to be something that our fans have never experienced before, obviously, with, with Hughes being four miles away. To be able to integrate the game day experience, the pageantry of game day to our campus, give people an opportunity to expose themselves pre-game and post-game to all the wonderful things that are occurring on this campus will be phenomenal. Yeah, and I imagine it gives a sense of commitment from Dr. Tony Frank and the other side of campus, the university as a whole, towards athletics, doesn't well, it? Well, what, what an incredible leader President Frank is. That was something that became very apparent to me in our early conversations, that he was someone that I wanted to align myself with. Uh, he's got a great vision for the institution and is, is certainly sees athletics as a great leverage point to communicate that to a broader audience. Yeah, you have a lot of experience in fundraising, in development, and as you mentioned a moment ago in facilities project management. Uh, how does that experience help you and will it help you going forward and overseeing the construction process over the next two and a half years? Well, like I said, I mean, three stadium projects and a lot of other projects on, on various campuses, and it just gives you, when you've done something, when you've experienced it firsthand, it just gives you a special insight, I think, on how do you approach it. Um, you know, you, you, you recognize the mistakes you might have made in the past and you try and correct them on any of the future projects you're working on. And uh, most of the people that have been involved with the project here on campus for the stadium, uh, as far as in the consulting world, I've worked with them before. I mean, I had a lot of conversations with them leading up to, uh, to the offer for me of this position and became very, very comfortable with the direction of, of the program and, and how they were approaching it and had a chance to talk to some of the people on our staff in the last couple days. And, I, I really think that we've got a great approach, an approach that's going to be very successful. You know, one of the big topics in, in college athletics, especially at the Division I level, is, is the kind of the, 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 the divide, the growing divide between the haves and the have-nots and, and the autonomy that the NCAA granted the, the Power Five conferences. You have a ton of experience in Power Five schools. Uh, how does that experience maybe help you come into Colorado State in keeping CSU competitive on a national level? Well, one, there's a, there's a lot of disparity between those that are part of the Power Five. I mean, I, I've right. been at 
the highest level where your budget is not even a question, and I've been at the other extreme where, where you have to be very thoughtful the way, the way that you use your resources. And I, I almost prefer the other because it, it keeps you lean, keeps you mean, keeps you focused on what's most important. I think when you, when you are overly resourced, you lose sight of, of really the core of the student athlete experience, matching great coaching talent, people who are committed to education with the student athlete population. So I, I have no concern whatsoever that, that uh, Colorado State will be competitive in the new landscape moving forward. Right. Yeah, I've been to Lubbock, I've been to Ann Arbor, they're great college towns. I think you and your family are really going to enjoy Fort Collins. It's a great place to, to raise a family. Your, your wife, Jen, you have two kids in high school. How excited is the family to get out here to Fort Collins? They're fired up. You know, we wouldn't be here without the, their commitment. And our kids are pretty extraordinary. You'll get a chance to meet them. But they, uh, they're sophomores in high school, and they're excited about it. Last night when we drove into town and had a chance to experience Old Town and that downtown area, their eyes were wide, saucers. I mean, they were so excited about the idea of moving to a new community. Our son said right away that this has elements of every place we've ever lived, and that's true, yeah. so we're fired up. Well, we're happy to have you. Welcome to Ram Nation. Thanks, Brian. Okay, that's Joe Parker, the new director of athletics here at Colorado State University. I'm Brian Roth. Thanks for watching CSURams.com. Perfect, right. like a true pro, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, Joe. Looking forward to working with you. Absolutely. And Fort Collins is a great place, though. You're gonna, you're gonna absolutely. I mean, Colorado.